Thank you, Alan. We go now to water, where to get it and how to use it. That continues to be a priority topic for Corpus Christi city leaders. At today's city council meeting, members got an update on our local water restrictions, something that could be with us for some time to come. In our weekly National Weather Service briefing, our, weather, our water team, uh, we were advised that um, for the next several months through April, we can expect hotter than normal temperatures and drier than normal temperatures. Not encouraging news for a city that's spending a lot of time talking about the drought and its impact on our water supply. The combined storage levels of Lake Corpus Christi and Chilk Canyon Reservoir are sitting at just under 43%. That's down about 10% from just one year ago, and it means we stay in stage one water restrictions where we've been for more than 180 days. It is concerning enough that next week the council will be discussing recommendations on calling for water restrictions much sooner than before, including adding a voluntary stage that's triggered when combined capacity falls below 50%. They may also introduce surcharges for large water users. Before today's council meeting, City Manager Peter Zanoni told 3 News that the city will soon be reevaluating the current water rates being paid not just by residents but also by industrial customers. We know industry is important in our area uh, for jobs, uh, for growth, uh, but we want to make sure that the rate structure is commensurate to what the residential customer pays in terms of fairness. They'll also consider doing more with the Water Conservation 365 program, something that has been in the works since last fall and something the mayor says is imperative. Because we have a water conservation plan, but I have advocated strongly and directed staff to make that plan something that we abide by all year round. While it won't produce more water, it will hopefully provide incentive to use less, something that everyone agrees right now is the first step in facing our water reality. Now, in addition to water, the city council also got an update today on city streets and the infrastructure plan to fix them. We'll have that for you tonight on 3 News at 6.